Hey guys, welcome to The Button Life. I thought I'd get on here and talk about laundry. So one of the ways that we save as a one income family is by the fact that we don't have a dryer. No. So the electricity or we have a gas hookup so we can do either gas or um, electric. Well, either one would add to our expenses. So we decided to go ahead since we're out in the country and see if we can get by without a dryer. And we do live in the state of Nebraska, so we do get cold months where I, I tried because I, I the, the learning curve was pretty quick. <laughs> it wasn't bad. But I did try hanging out laundry in the winter and it all froze. And then when I brought it back in, it all <laughs> hot out and it was worse. So what I have found that I can do is once fall or spring hits, the temperatures are about 60 degrees I have found is my sweet spot, my laundry will dry out. Now that means I have to put it out by 8 o'clock in the morning and it'll be dry by 6 or 7 p.m. But that's only on those cold days. Once we hit summer, give it two three hours. And I can do two rows of laundry on my clothesline that I bought from Ala. I filmed some of it and I'll put that up here. And I'll also include a link for where you can buy it on Amazon. It was about, I think it was $98. Oh my goodness. It, the pool, you can sink in and you can cement it so it doesn't rock. But since we're renting right now the land, we don't want to put anything permanent and we're not allowed to. The cover kind of got ripped up, I'll, I'll tell you that, after years work. But it went through some pretty bad 70 mile per hour, 50 mile per hour storms, um, some hail. And I've just duct taped it. <laughs> I do laundry one time a week and it holds two loads of laundry. My husband works cable so he's in attics, has insulation, he gets muddy, he's rural. So that's what we average and with two little boys I'm doing laundry once a week and that's how we keep up on it. Um, we have the option for gas or electric for a dryer but we decided not to go with it. It saves on utilities plus we could not afford a brand new washer and a brand new dryer at the same time. Um, now for winter time what I do I'll show you it's right now I've got the summer stuff that I have packed there but I'll show you what I do and how I get it ready for winter during the winter I end up doing two to three loads a week just because with the snow and stuff my husband goes through his work clothes faster and the kids because they go out and play <laughs> with my bad back I don't really get involved and I don't have to watch as many clothes um, I'm not rolling in the snow or anything like that um, but I dry it inside. I have a fold of rack. That's how I dry the pants. And then I have a place to put the shirts. And this worked really well. We don't have a humidifier. And with the heat running, it gets pretty dry. But I found doing the laundry two to three times a week puts in enough moisture that it saves us. And it's not that bad, honestly. Plus, we have little heaters because our heating unit doesn't work very well. It only heats up half the house. And the heaters buy the laundry, so it helps dry it out. It takes two days. Um, to dry out the laundry in the house and it's not dripping wet so I'm not causing any problems um, with that. I do an extra spin with the washer just to make sure and that's how we do it and so far it hasn't been an inconvenience at all to like. Yes you have to do a little bit more time but honestly do I miss sometimes my clothes being warm in the winter from the dryer? Yes. Yes I have to admit when we lived in the apartments and we had a dryer it was nice to throw the kids towels in the dryer when they were taking baths or showers and give them a warm towel but um, in terms of efficiency and energy costs it's actually pretty awesome for instance this month um, we only spent eleven dollars in electricity so just think about that guys eleven dollars in electricity now our gas is a lot higher because I do have a gas stove but um, and I cook and I bake a lot from scratch but I will link below the clothesline that we have as well as what I use um, and how I set up for drying inside and give it a whirl. If your dryer breaks, you can do it. If you don't have the money to replace it, you can do it. Yeah, you're going to hear my kids in the background. Have a good day. So this is what it looks like with the cover on. Like I said, I've duct taped it and I'm 5'4 and I can hang blankets and sheets on this pretty easily. It does lean a little bit to the right because the wind and stuff and settling, but it's all good now. Setup is pretty easy. You just simply pop it out. It has four notches to put the four, and then you will pull up. It has like three 
tightness options since I've had it for a year I put it to the highest one that I can and then I love that it spins so I am not walking around in circles I simply put my laundry basket I have a bucket that brings my laundry basket up to the right height so I don't have to bend and then I usually put my clothespins on their water table that you saw in the previous picture and that's simply what I do it's very easy and I'm still happy with it This is with one load of laundry on. I recommend that you space your heavy items either on opposite sides or since I have a lot, I did all around. Otherwise, you'll tip and make it lean to one side. As you can see, this is what two loads of heavy laundry looks like with a couple of blankets. There you see the bucket where I put it on and the water table where I put the clothespin back. This is the laundry room. It's at the back door of the house, so there's not a lot of space. It's a mobile home. That is the electrical box right there, my mop. That, what you see on the floor, is a rag that I use to wedge, and it keeps the drafts out as well as the insects. And then here is the washer. Um, I believe it's a GM. It's got a lot of features. I like it because it actually does get clothes clean, and I can soak things. It's just what I'm familiar with. And then to this side, this would be where the dryer would be if we had bought one. But it's filled with the summer stuff. We don't have a shed for storage, so I'll just rearrange for winter. Some of it I will move like my canning items and stuff to the kitchen. That there is the folding rack, which works very well for pants. Um, I do plan to later on get another one, a smaller one that I can attach to the wall. And I'll use that for socks and underwear. Up here is where I will hang clothes all along, mostly just shirts or any dresses. And here's where I plan to put the pop out one from the wall for socks and underwear, smaller things that tend to fall down. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.